Now everybody, my under flicking feathers again today. To another dry fly, elk hair caddis. A fairly simple, but well worth learning to tie. It's a very good caddis pattern for the rough water. Floats well, etc. So, as always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel, get access to members only content, and be entered into the giveaways. So, I've got my hook and my vise. This is a size 14 uh, TMCO 100 barbless. But I would say you can tie these for a 12, 10 even, all the way down to about an 18 or a 20 and I'm running on some ATOT, Uni and Camel and I'm just getting a bed of thread down and I'm going to take some fine gold wire Catch it and, and leave the waist the length of the body, and I'll come up with my thread, tying everything down, and then back. And I'll stop about the midway point, and then I'll come in with my dubbing. I'm using just super fine, but you can use anything really. Uh, and I'm using cinnamon caddis as the colour. He's a nice sort of tan. A little warm tan colour. I'm just dubbing this on. Always in the same direction. The amount of dubbing that I'm applying is very little. It, each time just building up my noodle with the super fine if you try to stick too much on at once it'll often kind of bunch up and you end up with pills so when you've got your dubbing rope you can maybe slide it a wee bit but it's, if you've dub dubbed it nice and tight you'll need to use up your thread in the way back then I'm just going to sort of dance in the spot if I get there before the end of the bare thread. And then right at the back of the hook here, at the start of the bend, I'll start my dubbing. And I'll just come up. But with a reasonable, reasonably thin, slightly tapered body. Get to the front, if you've got any extra, you can strip it away. Just eat that up there because it's very thin. And I've left myself, you can see there, maybe an eye length and a half behind the hook eye, clear. And we're ready for our hackle and I'm using a saddle. It's a sort of barred ginger that I've got here. And it's slightly undersized for the 14. I'm going to tie that in and I'm going to fold the stem back and take a wrap over it. And then I'll take a turn at the front and then just come down the body. Quite close turns, you know, that's what five and a half, six turns down the body as opposed to the usual four that you would maybe put on a pommel. Then I'm going to chase the hack away with my wire and get it in nice and tight and then just take the, hack, the wire up through as if there was nothing there, just Evenly spaced ribs, nice and tight. You get to the front, cross the thread, tie it off, keep your thread tight. 
and bend and break that away. And tidy up. Now, if you've trapped any fibres, you can just lightly come in. That's what it takes, just that wee couple of touches with the, the Velcro will free them. But don't scrub it because I don't want to shag out the super fine dubbing. Snap away that. There's a wee stem there, I'm just going to come in and trim that away. Now we're ready for the wing, which is elk. I mean, you could use deer hair, but I'm using elk hair. And I'm using natural. Quite often you see the elk hair caddis tied with the uh, bleached. Um, but I prefer the natural hair. Uh, although the bleached is a bit more visible, I think the I think you do get refusals with it um, that you maybe wouldn't get or that you don't get with a natural elk here. So. I'm cleaning out the waste pieces, any short fibres, any under fur, combed out. I'm going to stick my hair in the stacker. And then There's a broken tip there, I'll just remove that, if I can get it. Hackle pliers. There we go. See, your hackle pliers can be quite handy for a lot of things, not just winding hackle. Wing length, I want it coming to just past the back of the hook. So the wee dart tips here, you can see as I've measured them up, they're just at the back of the hook. That's fine for me. I'll pinch this. And then before I tie this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in just in front of the eye with my scissor and trim that here. Right. Then I'll take a pinching loop to tighten up with another wrap and then I'm just going to come in through the butt ends I'm going to flatten my wing a wee bit and you can see I've got my nice wee head right and it's, it's right every time if you cut it like that um, I mean you might need to come in and trim one wee hair or something but like I find this much more consistent than tying it and then cutting it so I'm just quick finishing in front of the elk hair there the butts nice and tight support the hook and tighten that knot just a case of coming in if you really want to you can a wee fibre there, I'll just take that away. But really, your fly's done. And then just for a bit of added security, I'll come in. A wee bit of uh, cement there. And clean the eye with a wee scrap of feather. And there you go, the elk hair caddis. It's maybe not as popular as it once was, I think. The ex caddis and other sort of unhackled versions might have replaced it, but these are still worth having if you're fishing somewhere that's a bit, the stream's a bit faster. You know, or uh, wee pocket water and all that, it's a good fly. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Please uh, remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines, guys. Bye.